So there's two different processes we use to make bullets here at Nosler. There's the cup and draw process and there's the impact extrusion process. With the cup and draw process, you're gonna start out with a thin copper ribbon or strip. You're gonna punch out a disc and then draw that out into the jacket. You're gonna insert a lead core and you're gonna have a finished bullet. The advantage of this process is very efficient. Raw materials go in, finished bullets come out. The disadvantage is you can't make the jacket any thicker than the material that you start out with. But for a hunting bullet, you're gonna wanna use the impact extrusion process. Start out with this solid copper wire to make the jackets of the bullet. End up with a slug, and that's what we're gonna use to make the jacket of the bullet. As that punch forces that slug, and ultimately the jacket, that soft piece of copper, has no choice but to conform to the shape of the punch in the die. The finish press is then gonna insert the lead core, we're gonna form the nose of the bullet, we're gonna insert a tip, and then have a finished bullet. The advantage of this is, this is what allows us to engineer the terminal performance into our hunting bullets. This is what allows us to make a bullet such as the partition, Acubon, ballistic tip, our E-tip bullet, 